I didn't dagen. I didn't dagen Acadian. Died in DDA Gan FL. C. 1910 BC. C. 1890 BC. By the short chronology of the ancient Near East or C. 1975 BC. C. 1954 BC. By the middle chronology was the third king of the dynasty of Isin. I didn't dagen was preceded by his father Shu Elishu. Ismi Dagon to be confused with neither Ismi Dagon I nor Ismi Dagon Roman II of the old Assyrian Empire, then succeeded Idin Dagon. Idin Dagon reigned for 21 years, according to the Sumerian king list. He is best known for his participation in the sacred marriage rite and the risk him that described it. Biography His titles included Mighty King King of Asin King of or King of the Land of Sumer and Akkad. The first year name, recorded on a receipt for flour, and dates reads, Year Idin Dagon was king and his daughter Matam, Nyatam the land which belongs to us was taken in marriage by the king of Anshan. Thalat suggests it was to Amazu son of Kinditu, who was the groom and possibly the king of the region of Shamashki, as he was described as the king of Anshan in a seal inscription, although elsewhere unattested. Kindatu had been driven away from the city-state of Ur by Ispai, Ero, the founder of the first dynasty of Isin, however. Relations had apparently thawed sufficiently for Tanru, Hirata the eighth king, to wed the daughter of Bailalama, the Insi of Eshnana. There is only one contemporary monumental text extant for this king, and another two known from later copies. A fragment of a stone statue has a votive inscription which invokes Ninisina, and Damu to curse those who foster evil intent against it. Two later clay tablet copies of an inscription recording an unspecified object fashioned for the god Nana were found by the British archaeologist Sir Charles Leonard Woolley in a scribble schoolhouse in the city-state of Ur. A tablet from the Anunma at the city-state of Ur dated to the 14th year of Gunganam Ethel, c. 1868 BCC, 1841 BC of Larsa, after his conquest of the city, bears the seal impression of a servant of his. A tablet described Idin Dagon's fashioning of two copper festival statues for Ninlil, which were not delivered to Nippur until 170 years later by Enlil Bani. Fell's letters preserve the correspondence from Idin Dagon to his general Sint Alat about Caculatum and the state of his troops, and from his general describing an ambush by the Martu Amorites. The continued fecundity of the land was ensured by the annual performance of the sacred marriage ritual in which the king impersonated Dumuzi Ama Yuzungal Ana and a priestess substituted for the part of Inanna. According to the hymn composed describing it in ten sections Karugu, this ceremony seems to have entailed the procession of male prostitutes, wise women, drummers, priestesses, and priests bloodletting with swords to the accompaniment of music followed by offerings and sacrifices for the goddess Inanna or Nyingala. The ceremony reached its climax with the copulation of the king and priestess, and is described thus. She bathes her loins for the king. She bathes her loins for Idin Dagon. Holy Inanna bathes with soap and sprinkles the floor with aromatic resin. The king then approached her loins with head raised high. Idin Dagon approached her loins with head raised high. Ama Yuzungal Ana lies down beside her and caresses her holy thighs, says, O oh my holy thighs, O oh my holy Inanna. After the lady has made him rejoice with her holy thighs on the bed, after holy Inanna has made him rejoice with her holy thighs on the bed, there are four extant hymns addressed to this monarch, which apart from the sacred marriage hymn, include a praise poem to the king, a war song, and a dedicatory prayer. Inscriptions 